welcome to my channel my name is dexy if you're new here and if you're a returning subscriber welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for subscribing if you're not subscribed as yet and you like videos like this one please consider subscribing and like this video so today we're going to be making some turmeric melt and pour soaps so here you see me cutting up the soap base and i'm going to put them in my baker measuring cup to melt on a double boiler system So I'm going to melt half of the soap base down and I'm going to add the, the rest of the cubes slowly but surely. You don't want to add all at once because you want to give it room to melt. Now that all of my cubes are melted, I'm going to add my essential oils. And you want to move quick with this process because the soap base starts solidifying very fast. Now I'm going to be adding my turmeric and I'm going to mix it with some coconut oil so that it could mix a little bit faster. Then I'm going to use my merging blender to make sure all the oils and the turmeric is combined evenly. I like to spray some rubbing alcohol on the top of the soap after I'm finished mixing it just to pop some of that bubbles. And I like to spray some alcohol into the mold as well before I start pouring in the soap. Then I'm pouring the soap onto the spatula so that there wouldn't be any air bubbles while I'm pouring it into the mold. Now you're going to spray the top of the soap just to pop any bubbles and you're going to sit this out on your counter or in your fridge until it's fully solidified. After it's finished solidifying, you want to cut them 
and clean up the edges if you want to you don't have to do this part but i like to do it just to make sure that the soaps look clean and nice After I'm finished cleaning them up, I'm just gonna bag them and that's the end of this soap making process. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna definitely see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!